they're also still I wonder what he did i've never seen that kind of i've never seen that kind of announcement like that in a whole neighborhood what the hell did this guy do it looks like he injured a cop i don't they didn't say he shot a cop but they let me just say that though they do that like every other day in Chicago. yeah i mean but why, why, why didn't he just say like if he injured a cop how did the cop get injured if the cop got shot just say he got shot <laughs> He was injured by a bullet. They said he's in stable condition. Right? Did he trip on a curb? What the? Mm -hmm. You know what the fuck happened? And mm -hmm. why is this guy wanted so bad that they're doing all this? I it was mean, a barricade situation. He apparently got. What him. was the crime that he did to to make the police want him in the first place? Yeah, I mean. I mean, like I said, like, <laughs> like, like I said, it, this literally happens every other day over here. Swat so situation, barricade yeah. situation. It's, it's nothing and Lithicum, what kind of name is that? Is that Russian or Croatian or what? Lithicum. Sounds Eastern European, that. right? Eastern yeah, European. That's what, that's what I was guessing. Yeah, he's um, he's a little little five seven. He's a, he's a, he's a he's a little short glider. He's he's young. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Cockeysville is kind of like, you know, rural. It's not like Baltimore at all. It's like people. It's like way, way out. Um, very, 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 very glacial out there. Um, there are also still a lot of questions surrounding what led up to the shooting death of a 12-year-old boy in a stolen car in Denver on Sunday. Investigators say a man used an app to track his car, which had been stolen, to the Sun Valley neighborhood. <laughs> okay, that's what happened. Then. That's what happened. He used the app to track his cars. He, he just the, answered his own question. The little fucker that stole it probably did something that he shouldn't have did. And he got clapped in the story. Here, son. Here, here, sir. Have a nice day. If we need anything more, any further statements from you, we'll call you. Go home. Have a nice night. I mean, that's that's basically the end of the story. But they, but of course. As we saw from our little story in DC, this guy's probably in a world of fucking trouble. There are also still a lot of questions surrounding what led up to the shooting death of a 12 year old boy in a stolen car in Denver on Sunday. Investigators say a man used an app to track his car, which had been stolen, to the Sun Valley neighborhood. And it was there that police say. <laughs> the what Valley neighborhood? <laughs> app to did, track did, his car which had been stolen to the sun valley neighborhood and it was there that police say the shots were fired and news reporter luis de leon explains what we do know so far denver police say this all started sunday when they got a report of a car stolen i think i was here when i was in denver wow i think i went here from the 8300 block of northfield boulevard the car's owner yeah. said he was using an app to I was here. There's a Vietnamese restaurant over here. Very good Vietnamese restaurant. Track it and eventually saw it stopped all the way here in the Sun Valley neighborhood. Police line tape was still visible here on Wednesday. We're not sure what happens next exactly, but according to police, the car's owner approached his car and was in part, quote, involved in an exchange of gunfire. There you have it. And that's what I think that little, I think that's why they're, they're, they're lucky DC police with that one case in DC, they're not in any hurry to find those two other guys because those guys were armed. And that changed the whole dynamic of why that guy shot at that, you know, shot at them. So now that you now that they can't they, they they can't find the two other guys that got away from that scene in DC, and they only got the dead kid Quran, they don't have to address you know what I'm saying all that you know well was he was he did he feel threatened or anything like that? These little fuckers when they go to steal cars, when they go to 
called carjacking missions. News flash. They have fucking guns with them. When they go to school, they have guns. So of course, when they're out stealing cars, they have guns. A 12 year old don't mean shit. Mayo monkey, what's up, Mayo? Come on, Ock. Ah, this gunfire just erupts and bullets fall from the sky. Yeah, man. It's, it's raining bullets. <laughs> I, 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 I love how they have to ask, you know, why was he shot? Yeah. Oh, because there was an exchange of gunfire. They couldn't have just said that in the title. Right. But that that's not why he was shot, man. Yo. He was shot because he was black, all right? Exactly. And this, and if this is Denver, or because he was twelve, as I told you guys, there's a huge probability that this guy who shot him is a glider. If this is Denver, oh yeah, he's either glider or umbrito. Yeah, and that's gonna be a huge problem for this guy. This guy's in a world of fucking trouble. Here on Wednesday. Especially in Denver, that sure place is next, uh, the exactly, mayor or whatever, some to... kind of crazy down there. Yeah. Police, the car's owner approached his car and was, in part, quote, involved in an exchange of gunfire. After, police say a juvenile drove the stolen car. Here, a few blocks away on West 10th Avenue. That's where police found 12 year old Elias Armstrong in the car already injured from a gunshot. Police believe other people in the stolen car ran away. The 12 year old was taken to the hospital, but did not make it. Police say the so man- it's possible, it's possible that the 12 year old was just an occupant, not saying he's innocent, but he may not have been the one who exchanged gunfire. Cause they said the car was driven away. So it could have been a bunch of them in a the stolen car, four or five, Maybe even six kids, six teens in the car. Until they get ballistics back, somebody in that car could have shot the kid. Yeah, true indeed. But that kid, those kids didn't take that kid to the hospital. Of course, they're little fucking idiot fucking urchins. <laughs> they fucking, yeah, I don't think this guy's in any trouble. They ditched the car and split who shot the boy, talked to police, but has not been arrested as of Wednesday. We asked EPD who fired a gun first. They say it's still under investigation. We also asked whether or not the driver tracking their car called police and told them the actions that they were taking. DPD said they could not discuss that because of the investigation. A DPD spokesperson did tell us in a statement that they recommend against owners trying to recover their own stolen vehicle, saying car thieves could be armed. Instead, they say folks should provide any details to police, including the location of the vehicle, if they can track it. Now, some community members in the Sun Valley neighborhood that I spoke to today did not want to go on camera, but they say that they feel the fact that a 12 year old boy lost their life in this is heartbreaking, regardless of the circumstances. Denver City Councilwoman Jamie Torres also shared the same sentiment in a statement today. The Sun Valley neighborhood is in her district. Tom, ultimately, it's the district attorney's office who will decide if charges should be filed, which is standard.